Well, we've got a quick wine barrel project we're going to do today. Uh, we've got a friend with a 70th birthday and he's a wine lover, so we're going to build him a, a small tote for carrying six bottles of wine. But one of the things I wanted to mention uh, about wine barrels, I won't go through how to take them apart because there's a lot of good shows on that, but one thing that I haven't seen before is uh, in, in one barrel, in one given barrel, there's only one bung. Uh, and that's kind of a telltale sign when you're building furniture or anything else that it is a wine barrel is to see that bung. This one's actually got the plug in it right now. But it's nice to have more pieces uh, that have that hole in them. And one of the things I've done, so uh, in, in a given wine barrel there'll be lots of different size pieces. Uh, about six of the wider pieces like this one and then a bunch of smaller pieces at about two inches or two and a half inches. But with the bigger pieces, only one of them will have that hole, uh, which looks really cool when you're building furniture. So what I like to do is I'll take a two inch hole saw and bore a hole in a few of those wider pieces, depending on where we're gonna put them in the furniture, and it'll end up looking about like that. Uh, and and then after, after I bore that hole, it'll look brand new and in, a, in, a, in the main barrel, in its bung, it'll, it'll actually have stain all around it from the wine. So it, you don't want it looking brand new. So I'll just take a torch and torch around in there and it blackens it up really nice and it, and it turns out pretty good. And then you've got more pieces that you can use uh, with the holes in them. We have the box roughed in here. We used a little bit of uh, rough cut uh, hemlock actually that we got from the mill, planed it down for the box sides and uh, for the front and back put in wine barrel staves. And to keep the bottles from uh, hitting each other and chattering around, this is a carrying box, uh, we're going to take these, uh, and I don't know what they're called, uh, flavor bars that were inside hanging from uh, from the inside of the uh, of the wine barrel oak strips to give it more flavor we, we cut those and put little slots in here so we can slide these into uh, into those slots and then keep the bottles from uh, we'll put one across the top keep the bottles from moving around before we build our handle We are about done other than a couple more coats of spar varnish and sanding obviously in between. I ended up shaping the handle a bit uh, just because it makes it easier to hold on to and with six bottles of wine in it, it, it would be pretty heavy. But it turned out pretty well. Uh, there's always a couple things I would have changed in it but I think it'll be a nice piece and a, and a great gift and a good way to spend the the morning here today. So thanks for watching.